a beautiful good afternoon to wherever you watching us from this is mr panuka and uh today i just want us to do a deep dive into our sweet pepper production across uh four greenhouses some shed dates and also some of the paper that we've got uh, uh in open field so here we've got the oldest um greenhouse for sweet pepper and i think it's still doing quite well it's about five months old now uh, but you can actually see that uh, it's uh, still quite prolific in terms of its uh, productivity and also the fruit size still very gigantic uh, so which is quite good apparently we actually have what i call a positive uh, complaint uh, in that one of our biggest off takers is actually saying well your fruits some of them are way way too big uh, because just one is uh, you know almost one kg um, so somehow we've got to tone down uh, on, on uh, how we do the production practices uh, so that um, we try and have what I would call <laughs> sizable fruits okay so yeah that's that's your positive um, you know risk if you may call it that way um, but otherwise the production in this greenhouse this is gh2 uh, is still um, quite great and uh, we're generally very happy um, and like I've always indicated what you want to see in pepper production is that you've got some big fruits underneath uh, and also seeing some younger you know fruits emerging at the top that way then you've got uh, consistency uh, in your production which is what you want to see in a pepper uh, in a crop what you don't want is a flush of pepper at a go and then you've got nothing after that so you can actually see that we have quite some young uh, fruits at the top which is very very good okay so you can actually see it's uh, quite tall now uh, it's about two meters plus um, so quite 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 great to look at so let's quickly uh look at now greenhouse number three so let's take a look now at um panuka gh3 um and what we have here is another sweet pepper greenhouse this one we transplanted on the 10th of uh, july 2020 and this one has been exceptional uh in its uh, growth I think it's even done uh, far much better than uh, GH2 um, and so far very 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 enviable uh, production uh, size of fruits and just the general outlook of the crop uh, has been quite uh, excellent so again we have quite some large blocky fruits in here and uh, so we actually expected to see um similar complaints of having very big fruits um and some of those uh the ones that you can see here um so gh2 and this one are currently our main uh you know greenhouses for pepper production And you can see also just the quality of fruits uh, very good and we're seeing actually more fruiting uh, at the top here again that's what you want to see with um, you know sweet pepper uh, some big fruits underneath and then at the top you're actually seeing more uh, flowering and more younger fruits coming up so it's about continuity and um, we expect to actually keep this sweet pepper here uh, for a year or even more okay so these are some of the large fruits um, and uh, also some of the sweet pepper clusters here um, somewhat a bit too overloaded uh, in terms of just the fruit balance so we probably need to do a bit more uh, fruit balancing by removing some of the fruits so these are some of the other bigger fruits 
um, that are just about ready to be harvested. Okay, so this is greenhouse number three uh, with uh, sweet pepper. So last week on Friday, we transplanted two greenhouses at the same time, same day. Um, and so let's just take a look at uh, those younger um, crops that were transplanted last week on Friday. Tag along. So now we're getting to GH4, greenhouse number four. So this is one of the newest uh, you know crops the sweet pepper this is all red uh, in here the variety that we have is red jet which is bred by rags one and supplied to us by holland green tech zambia the other two that we just showed you um, that is duke and this one is red jet so again on a farm you've got to try uh, a number of varieties and just see how they perform and then once you're very sure uh, then you can stick to one or two uh, you know varieties so this is the younger one uh, so we've got two that were actually transplanted on the same day and so far the seedlings are doing quite well okay so let's take a look at the uh, fourth greenhouse which was transplanted uh, on the same day with uh, this uh, GH4. So we are now getting to greenhouse number one, GH1, where we have uh, another sweet pepper crop. This one was also transplanted last week on Friday, so it's just about three days old uh, in the ground. Again, this is red jet. look at the seedlings they already look quite well established and that's the trick again with pepper you need to make sure that uh, by the time you're transplanting the seedlings they're actually quite formidable and that way you're actually bound to have a very good uh, crop so this is another greenhouse that we have for sweet pepper so we expect this, of course, in terms of just being ready, turning color around March 2021. So three months for it to get to ready green fruits and then for it to turn color another one month. So projected harvest around March uh, 2021. So now we take a short walk to one of the shed nets um, and what you're seeing here is just uh, the rainwater harvesting reservoir that we've constructed um, which is just about finished so we're taking a short walk to our shed net there where we have some sweet pepper Okay, so like we indicated last time, the quality of the net that we use for this one is very good. Uh, I'm still looking very strong. So let's get down there. Got to be careful here. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we are now in shed net one. And you can see that uh, it's doing pretty well. Look at the size of fruits already. Looking very good. So even in a shed night, you can actually do some very lovely uh, pepper production. Uh, except, of course, um, greenhouse proper would actually give you a far much better looking crop. Uh, which is not so much affected by sun scout. Otherwise, you can actually see that it's doing very well. And this one is actually on fertigation. So doing quite well, responding very well to fertigation as opposed to using 
are granular uh, fertilizers. So we actually just uh, finished trellising round one. And of course, this is the weekly process. Uh, so we're looking forward to a good crop in here, in the shed net number one. Okay. So let's take a walk now and uh, we show you some of the other pepper that is now in open field production and hopefully you can actually compare the productivity from the greenhouses uh, to the shed net and then from the shed net to open field uh, production um, and uh, you can actually compare based on some of the um, past videos that we did to just try and compare the productivity across different you know production you know uh, environments So right across here is um, some of the sweet pepper that we are actually producing in open food. While this is doing quite well, but you can actually see the huge difference between the sweet pepper from the greenhouses, the one in the shed net, and this one, it had commenced the production, but you can actually see from the leaves that uh, it's a bit buttered. So a few fruits here coming up and it's picking up, but generally you actually see that the productivity is far much less compared to um, the greenhouse or indeed shed net. This is the more reason we actually recommend that uh, if you've got the means, you're actually better off producing uh, sweet pepper either in the greenhouse or at least in a shed net. That way you would actually get uh, a very good return. Okay, folks, so I hope that uh, gives you just uh, a good appreciation on our sweet pepper production and also hopefully you've picked up a few tidbits um, in terms of just our production. All right, folks, so have a lovely one. Um, this is Mr. Panuka signing out.